Hello, my classy people. Wayne Bolden. It is uh, Thursday. That's right. The boys are back in town. Everybody's derby dreaming. In the Holy Bull. That's right. Gulfstream Park this Saturday. Before we get going, please turn your closed captions on. Remember, tip sheets available. All stakes. Email me, speaking24 at Yahoo. Shout out to Miss Irish Moore. How are you, lady? I'll get them tip sheets over to you. And my boy, Ernest Fry. They are all so, so, so classy. Well, you know, we are moving towards the first Saturday of May and down at the Holy Bull is 12th race at Gulfstream on Saturday. Hey, it's the three-year-old boys there in town, of course. The Holy Bull is 250000 20 points, 8 points, 6 points, 4 points, 2 points, like that. Everybody's trying to collect points to get to that first Saturday of May. And I tell you right now, we have a nice fill of uh, 10 in the Holy Bull. And this is a tough race, man. You know, they're young and they're not really established yet. So you can go several ways. So I'm going to give you my top pick. And I'm going to be a homer right away. The horse has the speed uh, figures for sure going in. And also has the connections. Billy Mott's horse. No, he didn't. That's right. Yeah, well, four, six, eight, the eight horse, the number eight horse. Uh, Rocket Ken, right? Seems like all of Billy Mott's horses is Rock Ken or Rocket, right? Well, Rock Ken, the number eight horse. I hate the post, by the way. You know I do. Hey, Rock Ken, no, has one win only, which is a maiden race, right? Uh, from four starts in one second. Well, the horse is bred impeccably by Into Mischief Sire and the Grand Sire is Tappet. I mean, how, how good is that? Right? Well, Rock Ken, again, trained by the Hall of Famer, my favorite trainer uh, of all time, or one of the three, uh, Mr. Billy Mott, Asmussen, and of course the legendary Bobby Franco. Well, Billy Mott got this one, got his boy Alvarado in the yards, uh, ran second in an allowance race. Uh, in November 26, over there at Churchill. Now, been away for seven days, making his three-year-old debut. Now, when the horse broke his maiden at Churchill, right, that's where the derbies run, by the way. Hey, October 30th, ran a beautiful race with Johnny V in the yards, for sure, and uh, ran a beautiful race. Came back in that allowance race, put up a beautiful speed figure, been away for 70 days, now three from two, uh, 70 days off, workouts are steady, I expect the Hall of Famer, Billy Mott, to put him over. Just like he did Art Collector. You can't never count Billy Mott out of anything. Okay? I mean, don't, don't get it twisted. Okay? Billy Mott is an extremely, extremely good horseman. Okay? And a lot of times when Billy strikes you, see Country House. Hey, you can't necessarily see it on paper. The horse isn't that great, but he ain't that bad. And Billy Mott gets these horses to do what Billy does. And again, I like Rocket Can here. I think the horse has a big shot. It's going to be my top play in this year's Holy Bull for sure. Well, my second pick isn't going to be far away. You ain't going to have to look far. Cyclone, it is the old Cyclone Mischief. Well, the number four horse Cyclone Mischief is has the same sire as Rocket, Rocket Ken. Into Mischief on the back end by Bernardini. You can't shake no stick at that. Two wins from four starts, one third. Hey, there's that man, Mama Who, Del Romans, the sneaky, sneaky Del Roman. Every time I hear Del Roman's name, I think of Ghost Zapper Race in the Breeders' Cup back there in 2000, 2001, when Del Romans trained a champion in his own right. Roses in May. He was just born in the wrong, wrong, uh, wrong year, running second to Ghost Zapper in the Brutus Cup Classic, but went on to win 12 or $14 million. Del Roman is an extremely good uh, uh, conditioner as well, y'all. And he has the number four here, Cyclone Mischief, and he's got that talented, talented, smooth, smooth rider, Tyler Gaffleyon. And if you're at Gulfstream, you better find out what Tyler Gaffleyon is. You better. That cat can flat out ride. Very underrated. Everybody knows him. We know he's a world-class jock. But I tell you right now, man, he flies a little bit under the radar. And I tell you, Cyclone Mischief, to me, coming off of a nice win by five lengths with Tyler in the yards on January 8th, some 27 days ago, across this very track at one mile in an allowance, now stretching out another 16th of a mile, draws right in the middle of the pack. 
jacket, uh, the number uh, four hole. It has a beautiful speed figure. And remember, this Colt, Cyclone Mischief, only has four starts. So again, obviously, these horses improve. And the speed figure that this horse earned last time is second to none. And again, this horse is extremely going to be hard to beat, I think. So to me, my top two picks is the eight horse, Rockets Can and Cyclone Mischief. I could stop right there. I don't need any more. Okay? So for me, it's 8448 four, for my life in this race. But of course, I'll give you the third pick in here uh, just to round out the Super Factor or the, and the, the Super Factor and the Tri Factor. And I guess you have to look at the number six horse, so Legacy Isle. Well, Legacy Isle is a nice horse. Two wins from three starts in one second. Huh? By Shackerford. Love that. For sure. And uh, read the footnotes on the back end. Uh, Crinchin uh, is our trainer of record. You have my boy Louie Louie Lou. I in the arms. And this is the speed of the race. The number six will be on the lead. And he's got the best jock in the country on him. Louie Sias. That's just my opinion, right? Obviously, I love Louie Sias. And the number six, Legacy Isle, has never finished worse than second in three starts. Now, you want to talk about room to improve. Obviously, this three-year-old made his debut January 1 of 2023 at Gulfstream Park when one flat mile in an overnight stake race for 150,000 the Mucho Macho Man stakes right and guess who Jeremiah uh, Jeremilo was up then and they went and got the services of Louis Sias smart move this is a very very fast horse and obviously knows where the winner circle is has never finished worse than second and Legacy Isle is going to be very hard on the front end y'all now the speed figures are cut below our top two the eight rocket can, rocket can and the number four cyclone mischief but again they're young young horses right their biggest improvement is in between races one and two two and three three and four so this is this horse's fourth race and we don't expect the horse to get worse we expect them to get better coming off of that 34 day uh, freshening from January 1. The number six horse, Legacy Isle, is going to be on the lead, and any horse that's on the lead like that with a wonderful jock and a beautiful a bloodline that can and will be tough in here for sure. So again, the number six, I'm telling you, is going to be tough and is going to be on all of my tickets. This is our third pick. If we had to round out a super in this a horse fill. I guess I would lean to the number one horse, Lord Miles. I rat Ortiz is up one win from two starts, one third by Curlin. No, you didn't. I just said he was by Curlin, right? That's right. Trained by the ass Musin guy, Curlin was on the back end by Majestic, and it's Safi Joseph, y'all. So again, this will be our third pick. Remember, we're just trying to round this thing out. So for us in this year's Holy Bull, I'm going to my boy, Billy Mott, on the outside with the number eight, Rocket Ken, and our second pick, who we love equally, Del Romas, Cyclone Mischief with Tyler G in the odds, and we round it out with my boy, the number six horse, Legacy Isle. So for us, if I got eight, four, six on my ticket, I'm happy. Be on all my pick fours and pick five. Eight, four, six. We'll round the super out with the one with Irad on the rail there. Safi Joseph Horse, for sure. The Holy Bull. Let's see if they can beat the eight and the four in this spot. I don't know. The number six horse is pretty tough. Eight, four, six for us, y'all. This year's Holy Bull. Stay classy in all you do. Tip sheet speaking 24 at yahoo.com. Hey, Texas. We have our own phone number here. Believe it or not. 804-0637. That's right. Talk to y'all real soon.